Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com. Let's take a look at this Kurt T Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness with 4-Pole Flat Trailer Connector. Now this wiring harness has been designed to fit your 2006 to 2015 Mazda MX-5 Miata. And on custom fit parts such as this harness, I do recommend taking advantage of our vehicle fit guide. Just insert the year, make, and model of your vehicle and our fit guide will confirm if this harness will work for you or if we have another harness that will work for you. So this harness is going to give you that four pole flat connector at the back of your Miata to power your trailer signal lights. This is also going to be compatible with five, six, and seven pole adapters. Those adapters are sold separately. And if you notice here, we do have a dust cap that is included and that's going to cover up those connection points on the plug when this is not in use. Now this does include a powered taillight converter. That's this black box right here on the harness. This is going to make sure that your vehicle's wiring matches that of your trailer. This is not going to um, overload your car's electrical system. It's going to reduce strain on its wiring system. By the way, Kurt does build each converter using surface mount technology for consistent, reliable performance. This maximizes trailer light yield and intensity while producing minimal heat, ensuring superior operation in rough road conditions. Now this harness is going to connect quickly and easily. You're not going to have to worry about splicing wires or anything like that, possibly causing damage to your electrical system or voiding warranties. What you're going to do is locate your uh, vehicle wiring harness and uh, on, the, on the Miata, that's going to be behind the driver's side and passenger side interior trim panels of your rear cargo area. Once you locate those connectors, you're going to separate them and you want to be careful not to break the locking tabs. And then you're going to insert the T-connector ends between the vehicle's wiring connectors and lock them into place. These T-connectors are custom fitted for your vehicle, so they're going to match up perfectly with the connection points on your vehicle. They're going to snap and lock together for a tight, secure fit. Once you have these plugged in, you will need to make a ground connection. The ground wire is this white wire. Notice it does have a ring terminal attached to it, and it does come with this self-tapping screw here. So you're going to be able to get this grounded to a suitable location, such as your vehicle's frame or cross member. You just want to make sure that the surface is clean and rust-free. Next, you will want to mount the converter box to a safe out-of-the-way location. You can use this double-sided adhesive tape to get this mounted up into place out of the way. And then you can secure any slack in your wiring, any excess in your wiring with the included cable ties. And then once installation is complete, the four-way connector will be stowed in an out-of-the-way location within the jack storage compartment of your cargo area. Instructions are included to guide you through that installation process. And it is also recommended that you use a small amount of dielectric grease on all of your electrical connections like the plugs on the vehicle end and the four-way connector itself. That grease is designed to help prevent electrical failures caused by corrosion and moisture. So on your screen, I am including the model number, the part number of that grease. You can just take that number and pop it in the search field of our website. That will take you to that grease and you can add that to your order. Well, that's gonna wrap up our real quick look today. I do hope that our time together was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.